This is Top Accolade African News. I am Abiodun Mohamed. The large number of decomposing bodies still under collapsed structures and the floodwaters in Dena City has raised concerns about the risk of disease for survivors. Libya's Interior Minister, Ahmad Al Trabesi, on Thursday told Al Adaf TV that health authorities were investigating health hazards in the city and would make a decision on the threat of a potential outbreak. He said electricity has been connected to some areas of Dana and work was underway around the clock to restore services. The minister put the official death toll at 3,000 with more than 2,800 people still missing. There's discrepancy over these figures with Libya's ambassador to the UN saying about 6,000 people have died so far. The Red Crescent put that number higher at 11,300. Zambian President Akenide Ichilema met his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping in Beijing for bilateral talks on Friday. The two leaders agreed to upgrade their ties to a quote, comprehensive strategic cooperative partnership. China has significant stakes in Zambia's mining sector, while the Southern African nation seeks to restructure its mounting external debt with its leading creditor. President Xi said China and Zambia's friendship had, quote, withstood the test of international storms and changes and encouraged more imports from the African country. Ichilema said Zambia appreciates the guiding concepts and principles of Chinese time modernization and hopes to learn from the Asian country's development experience. Kenyan detectives have arrested a Polish drug trafficking suspect with $22,000 worth of heroin at the main airport in the capital, Nairobi. Akardus Stanislaw, the suspect, was arrested moments before boarding a hungry-bound Egyptian airline at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. Police have detained the suspect, who is awaiting to be arraigned in court. Kenya's Director of Anti-Narcotics Directorate, Margaret Karanja, warns that all drug suspects will be treated with the severity of the law, regardless of their roles in the trade. The East African country is a key transit point for drugs from the Middle East to the West. The highest fuel prices in recent memory have been announced by Kenya's regulator to the fury of many in the country. Overnight, the cost of petrol rose to 212 shillings, approximately $1.40 per litre in the capital, Nairobi, with the prices of different types of fuel rising about 9% to 20%. The move comes despite countrywide protests in recent months against high living costs and the government economic policies. It is going to be, quote, painful and it may not work, said President William Ruto's chief economic advisor, David Indy on X, adding that he was not going to sell false hope to Kenyans. President Ruto removed few subsidies when he came into office last September. That is the size of Top Accolade African News. You can follow us on our social media platforms as displayed on your screen. Happy weekend.